Hello, I'm Allison Sim, ABC Certified Prosthetist Orthotist and Fellow of the American Academy for Orthotics and Prosthetics. I'm so glad you've chosen to participate in this webinar to learn about the Ethnocare Overlay System, and I'm looking forward to implementing this to improve the quality of care for your patients. Ethnocare is a med tech company specializing in designing the next generation of orthopedic products. At Ethnocare, we aim to empower individuals to achieve their full potential without limitations by providing innovative solutions that improve users' lives. The first product we're putting on the market is the Overlay. The Overlay is a new transtribial prosthetic device that uses air to manage the changes in limb volume and address socket fit issues. It's an easy to use solution that improves the comfort and mobility of patients with amputations. So what's our why? I wanna start by sharing the inspiring story behind Ethnocare. This journey began with a personal experience involving the mother of one of our founders, Lewis. She underwent a bilateral amputation 12 years ago. Throughout her rehabilitation journey, and even now, she continues to face significant discomfort due to the limitations of existing products. Lewis, having grown up alongside his mother, understood that by driving innovation through a user-centered approach, we could truly make a profound impact on people's lives. In 2019, an ethnographic research study was completed in collaboration with five rehabilitation centers involving over 30 healthcare professionals and patients. The objective was to focus on gaining a deep understanding of the prosthetic ecosystem. We aim to examine the various stakeholders involved, delve into the methodologies employed by prosthetists, and gain insights into the lived experience of amputees. The ultimate goal was to identify the unmet clinical needs and propose innovative solutions that could genuinely benefit the users. During this research, it was observed that despite the availability of advanced knee and carbon fiber foot prosthetics, there was significant room for improvement in the connection between humans and bionics. In the meantime, this allowed Ethnocare to develop a deeper understanding of the prosthetics and orthotics modes of treatment. This discovery prompted us to address the following question. How can we enhance the comfort associated with wearing a prosthetic device? So according to research, volume and shape changes in the residual limb lead to several problems and can put individuals at a higher risk of sustaining injuries. When the volume of a person's residual limb decreases, Bony prominences, such as the distal anterior tibia and the head of the fibula are subjected to increased stress, which can cause pain and elevate the risk of injury. The variation affects the pressure and distribution of shear stresses within the socket. Due to the changing volume, the alignment and anatomical support points within the socket will shift, which can result in increased pressure and shear forces. These factors can lead to problems with socket adaptation, instability, and potential skin breakdown. Changes in the volume of the residual limb also affect the suspension method and the amount of pistoning of the limb within the socket during walking. Pistoning introduces a frictional force, which involves sliding between the limb and the socket leading to injuries. The residual limb's volume fluctuation also causes a shift in reference points within the prosthetic device itself, resulting in alterations in the user's gait. Consequently, the user's body must adapt to these changes, leading to potential long-term effects like back or hip problems. Adjustable sockets, such as the RevoFit system, the iFit prosthetics, and or Martin Bionics, are often used to compensate for the volume variation, but these systems are not widely available since they are expensive, complicated, and time-consuming to manufacture. They're not able to be retrofit, and they can't be used with every type of suspension method. That said, the most common solution currently used to manage volume changes is to add multiple layers of prosthetic socks also known as ply, throughout the day over the patient's liner to compensate for these socket fitting issues. Patients are often required to carry additional prosthetic socks with them. They need to remove their socket each and every time they need to add a sock, which often involves also taking off their pants. However, adding ply can lead to additional discomforts. Furthermore, the addition of prosthetic socks with their thickness around the residual limb can limit patient's knee flexion. And additionally, these prosthetic socks can also increase the heat within the socket as they act as insulation, further enhancing the patient's discomfort. 
Therefore, a solution that addresses the issue of volume variation with precision without needing to remove the prosthesis could reduce errors related to wearing the wrong amount of prosthetic socks, potentially preventing injuries by creating a better alignment into the socket and a snug fit. So this led us at first to design a new adjustable socket. The concept involved integrating a clamping system into the upper portion of a socket to ensure an adjustable and easy fit. Initially, this appeared to be an ideal solution as CPOs were already experienced in socket manufacturing and the system could be personalized for each user. However, this concept presented its own challenges. As we mentioned in the current solutions, a custom-made socket requires extensive labor from the CPO and the technical staff, making it time-consuming and costly. Additionally, this clamping system offered limited adjustability, which may only accommodate some users' needs. Moreover, the additional pressure exerted by the clamping system, such as a BOA system, may cause discomfort to users. And lastly, repairing this socket would be difficult in the event of product breakage, often necessitating a complete replacement. So Ethnicare had to explore other concepts that went beyond the conventional socket design to find alternative solutions that could offer universality, improved comfort, and better adjustment, and would be an easy and ideal solution for CPOs and their technical staff. That's when the idea for the overlay came to life. The overlay is a new transtibial prosthetic device which uses air to manage the changes in the limb volume to address socket fit issues. It's composed of a thin breathable fabric sleeve with an integrated air expansion system that can be adjusted by the wearer for maximum personalized comfort. The overlay goes over the liner and inside the socket and a silicone print design inside the overlay ensures a snug fit with the liner and also prevents slipping. To create a quick and a larger adjustment, the patient can inflate the system by connecting the external pump to the release valve. The user can also use the integrated pump for smaller adjustments throughout the day. To deflate, users will press the silver button situated on the exit valve. The air expansion system is placed in the back of the leg and covers about two thirds of the residual limb. We ensured to place the air bladder on the pressure tolerant areas and where there's the most volume fluctuation, wherein also the soft tissues. By placing the air expansion system at the back of the leg and surrounding the limb with it, we're conserving a socket design feature like the tibial crest alignment. This air expansion system can increase volume up to 15 ply. A case study with 21 transtibial patients indicated that the overlay demonstrates effective volume management, improved socket fit, enhanced cushioning, pain reduction, ease of use, and overall improvement in user comfort and satisfaction when compared to traditional volume management methods. This overlay has several benefits for the user and the prosthetist. For the user, the overlay is much simpler and easier to use than most volume compensation methods, such as prosthetic socks. The user does not need to take off their prosthesis many times throughout the day to ensure a proper and snug fit. They also don't need to carry socks. How many times have your patients not had the accurate sock ply on or the accurate sock ply they need in the car, in their purse, or on their person? So in fact, this case study done with 21 amputees indicated the overlay is 58% easier to use than other traditional volume management methods. The use of air also increases comfort. The air creates a cushioning effect, reducing the pressure in the distal end area. Because we're using a compressible fluid, it creates a uniform cushioning within the socket. The air fills the gap where there is a volume variation, creating a personalized fit for each user and further enhancing their overall comfort. This same case study also showed that the overlay improved comfort by more than 38%, and patients indicated their pain sensation decreased by 32% when wearing the overlay compared to their regular volume management methods. The product also shows better adjustability and socket fit. It can fill up to 15 ply of volume variation. The use of the integrated pump allows more precise adjustments, especially when a patient is between ply thickness. The users have a real-time sensation of the volume management without removing their sockets. Users reported a 50% improvement in socket fit when using the overlay compared to the current volume management methods. Additionally, these same users experienced a 58% better cushioning when using the overlay compared to the other volume management methods. The overlay also improves the mobility of users. The air cushion design has been optimized to create an optimal alignment in the socket keeping the initial reference point in the socket. 
By removing many layers of socks, it also improves the knee flexion significantly and allows that patient the full range of motion because they're not gonna have a buildup of material in the popliteal fossa. This normally occurs again when the addition of multi multiple layers of socks are ne necessary. Finally, the overlay is a universal system. It can accommodate to different residual limb morphologies. It's also compatible with most suspension methods, sockets, and liners. This includes suspension sleeves, distal fixation, and active and passive vacuum systems. So I've talked a lot at to you about why we believe in the ethnocare overlay, but I wanted to include some testimonials from the patients themselves. So we're gonna talk about James. He's a K1, K2 user who had struggled to walk smoothly with his prosthetic limb. He arrived at our booth in a wheelchair due to this difficulty. So James was wearing 13 plies of socks, which significantly limited his movement. And upon trying out the overlay, he immediately experienced a noticeable change. He even started jogging, expressing that such activity was impossible with his prosthetic socks. Love it. Yes, absolutely. This is much better. This is much better? Yes. I, it's, it, feel like I'm, it feels like I'm walking better. Oh, that's great. That's without great. the other socks. I'm pulling his pants up, no. stopping and doing all that. <laughs> A little jogging. <laughs> I, 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 wouldn't, I can't do this with my socks on. To not emphasize this enough, this gentleman went from using a wheelchair due to difficulties walking due to that volume change within the socket itself and was jogging in the booth after putting on the ethnocare overlay. And now we're going to talk about Connie. So Connie is a very active patient and she uses the passive vacuum system. She actually wrote to the ethnocare team on social media because she was having a lot of socket fit issues and was looking for a solution as she was going to a sports event. So she tried out the overlay and her comments are as follows. It's a complete difference. I feel rejuvenated, comfortable, and complete, all of which I haven't felt in such a long time. It's like a hug from the clouds. I don't know about you, but I think I would like a hug from the clouds. I am an amputee that struggles with volume fluctuation th tremendously throughout the day. I am shocked at how thin this is. I was not expecting that and I, it makes me so happy. I'm so excited to try this. Tomorrow is my two year anniversary, and I will be in Baltimore, Maryland with the Levitate team for their clinic. And this could not have come at a better time. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to participate, but I think this might be just what I need to get through the day. And then we have Miss Lucy. Before discovering the overlay, she rarely used her prosthetic limbs. She was heavily dependent on her wheelchair because she found wearing socks uncomfortable and was also hesitant to take off her prosthetics in public. She found it challenging to use her prosthesis for more than 30 minutes a day. However, since trying the overlay, she can no longer imagine going back to wearing socks. This newfound comfort has made a significant difference, leading her to use her limbs much more frequently. On the very first day of using the overlay, she accomplished all of her errands and astonishingly walked continuously for over three hours with her prosthetic devices. For me, it's the best thing that ever happened. No more socks. I don't need to add any more. It's wonderful. I can do my housework and my errands without removing my prostheses in front of everybody. When I used to go out on errands, I didn't stay very long because I didn't want to take my prosthetic device off in front of people. Now with just a little push, I can continue my day without removing my prosthesis. I swear, it's a beautiful invention. And last but not least, we have James. James is a very active K4 patient who leads a dynamic lifestyle with interests in sports. He was previously reliant on prosthetic socks for comfort, but switched to the overlay with his distal fixation suspension method in 2022. He praises it as definitely the most comfortable product I have ever worn highlighting its significance and enhancing his active life. It's unbelievable, man. So how about this? With the sock, you kind of slide around yeah. it, right? With this? It's stuck in place. It's kind of like I was saying to them, me and you shake hands and our hands are locked. Yeah, yeah. That's what it feels like. I'm shaking hands with the back of my leg. So we've only talked about four users, but there are so many more who love this product. I really suggest for you to check out Overlay by Ethnocare. This leaf uses an air-based system that removes the need for prosthetic socks. 
just finished 10k, uh, using the Ethnocare. If I wasn't using this, I'd be using all these extra socks. And you don't have to deal with socks anymore? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is, oh, it feels amazing. Especially I have zero weight on the distal end now. So I don't have to carry around a bunch of socks with me, and I can increase or decrease the air throughout the day. I, I, I can feel, I, I just felt the vacuum and it just interact really well. And yeah, that feels really amazing. It definitely gives support. Not gonna lie, the best thing I've ever got. Let me tell you, it is so much comfier than weren't having to wear four thick socks to make the leg fit. I have been wearing the Ethnopair overleg sleeve for three months now. It's been a game changer. I used to carry around a bag of socks. I wasn't even sure if I had the right sock with me. And now I just put the overlay on in the morning mm -hmm. and I'm good to go. I, I can adjust it on the fly mm -hmm. and I can really dial in the fit for myself. If the error seems to go in the areas that there are voids that are happening during the day and stay away from the areas that don't need it, which is not possible with the regular socks. So let's talk about for the professionals. The overlay saves time. By utilizing this system, it will reduce the number of sockets that you may need to do during the post-operative relief phase, and it allows you to preserve the comfort within the existing sockets themselves. It also reduces the number of appointments that patients may have due to fitting issues. The overlay doesn't require any additional labor or changes in the manufacturing method. It can be either retrofit into their existing prosthesis if the patient has an initial volume variation of at least two plies, and it's incorporated easily when a new socket is manufactured. The CPO simply needs to put a two-ply over the liner during the casting phase. And let's talk about testimonials from some of our colleagues. Jean-Francois is a director and a prosthetist at Biop Laboratory in Canada. He started using the overlay in November of 2022. Out of his 30 below-knee amputee patients, approximately 50% are using this system, and he's integrating it with more patients every day. By using the overlay, my BK customers no longer have to carry several spacer socks with them on their outings. They benefit from the most optimal volume adjustment, whatever the time of day, and without textile buildup in the popliteal fossa. In addition, my stocking inventory is also less complex since one single overlay covers a volume range from two to 15 ply. Taylor says, it streamlines volume management effectively, easing this process for patients. It has great potential to reduce the frequency of follow-up and adjustment appointments, which is a major advantage. The overlay enhances suspension, especially for those with redundant soft tissue and residual limbs. So to find the correct size, of the Ethnocare overlay, two measurements are needed. You're first going to measure the circumference of the limb at four centimeters from the distal end over their liner to determine the width. And then the second measurement is the length of the residual limb from the distal end to the popliteal fossa to determine the overall length. There are currently six sizes of products available and 12 SKUs, which can accommodate almost every amputee. There are three widths, the circumferences of OV23, OV28, and OV35. There are two lengths. The SH stands for a limb from 14 centimeters to 20 centimeters. Again, that's the length from the distal end to the popliteal fossa. And the LG addresses the limb that is over 20 centimeters in length. And then there are two orientations, right or left. So this is based on the user's and the practitioner's preference for the pump location. It's not linked to the side of the amputation. So let me say that again. The right orientation will actually mean that the pump and the valve will be located on the right side of the limb when wearing the product. And the left would be the opposite. So if we fit a patient with a left below knee amputation, we want the pump and the valve to be on the lateral side, we would choose the left orientation. If we wanted to have the pump on the medial side, for that same patient with a left below knee amputation, we would actually choose the right orientation. So we're gonna walk through the instructions for use. The first step is of course to put the patient's liner on and then the overlay is slid over their liner as a usual user would normally do when putting on a prosthetic sock. The air expansion system needs to be positioned at the back of the leg. 
the patient can now put on their prosthetic device, ensuring that this air expansion system is below the trim line. Before standing up, and once the prosthetic is put on, the user can inflate this expansion system. We recommend putting less weight on the wearing side when adding air to ensure easier inflation. Another tip is to make sure your patient keeps their legs straight to allow better air distribution in the expansion system. To create a quick and a larger adjustment, this patient can inflate the system by connecting the external pump to the release valve. The user can also use the small pump for smaller adjustments. They can now stand up and begin their activities. During the day when the user experiences any change in limb volume, they simply need to use the product's integrated pump to add air into the system without removing their clothes or their prosthetic device. To deflate the overlay, the user can press on the silver button situated on the release valve before removing their prosthetic device. It's easier to deflate when there's counter pressure from the socket on the air expansion system. Think of this similar to an air mattress. Make sure your patient's going to keep their legs straight to allow better deflation. It's still possible to deflate the system without being in the socket, but you need to put pressure under the valve itself. It's also important to note that this image shows the user with a pin lock system. However, this device can also be used with most other suspension methods, such as vacuum systems and suspension sleeve systems. The only difference is that we know the user will need to roll down their sleeve to inflate or deflate the overlay. We know that it's a common concern that the overlay might damage the sleeve, but rest assured the overlay will not affect the integrity of the sleeve itself. So a couple things to be mindful of. At this time, the Ethnocare overlay is not recommended for patients who have leather thigh straps as they'd interfere with the pump or valve of the overlay. This includes cuffs or straps or belts. Any patients who have wounds or very sensitive skin, patients who are unable to communicate physical discomfort, and the use of this product in water activities is not advised. We also recommend being cautious about using this product for patients with a supracondylar socket of course, we know many patients that use this type of socket design, but that said, as you know, the ears of the socket go much higher with the socket design and could in some cases interfere with the pump and the valve. Patients who wear fewer than two plies, since this product corresponds to a thickness of approximately two ply, any patients with neuropathic problems should be monitored when using this product. This device is worn over a liner and not directly on the skin. This device is also intended for single patient use. So with regards to seal ring liner usability, seal rings come in many different shapes. The overlay will need to sit above the rings. That said, some liners like the Oser X5 have rings that come very high on the residual limb, making this ring interfere with the overlay itself. So make sure if you fit the overlay on a patient that has a ceiling ring liner, that the overlay sits above the ring without any of the air cells in the popliteal fossa or outside the socket walls. With regards to maintenance, we suggest washing the product with water and mild soap. The product should not be put in the washing machine or any other heating element. We also recommend covering the pump hole when washing to prevent water from entering the system. And the product has to be completely dry before using it. Our warranty is a six months warranty. And regarding the overlay's durability, our product has undergone extensive testing and has proven highly durable. We've had many extreme wearers, such as patients over 350 pounds and or really active users of K4 Plus, using it for over 12 months without any significant wear or tear. Each component was also tested through several bench tests to ensure that it was highly durable and would withstand extreme loads. Ethnocare provides a warranty of six months for the overlay from the fit date. If a part of the product is damaged, the entire product will be placed with a new one. So let's talk about that first patient fitting. Your ideal candidate for this trial would be capable of understanding the usage adjustments and maintenance requirements of the overlay. The patient must possess an adequate dexterity to manage the built-in pump and release valve for inflating and deflating to achieve custom comfort. It must be suitable for patients with a moderate to a high level of activity, such as any patient ranging from K2 to K4. You wanna maximize the output of this patient. You wanna make sure that they're going to utilize not only their prosthetic device, but the overlay itself. 
Their, their residual limb should also be free from significant skin issues or wounds, any nerve problems, or excessively bony residual limbs. Again, your first candidate, this first trial patient, you want to make sure that they have a mature residual limb, that they understand cognitively, they understand what a prosthetic device, how it should fit, how it should work. Um, so you're not having to overcome that burden of, say, that first post-acute phase of that patient population. So I've talked at you for the last hour. <laughs> and I'm sure it was a lot to digest, but let's make sure that you understand why I support the ethno care overlay system and why I think it would be such a great implementation into your clinical practice. For users, it improves mobility, improves comfort, and it's an easier volume management method. There's nothing, nothing worse than having your patient not actually understand sock by manage, management and how a prosthetic device is supposed to feel so that it can function well. For your practitioners, this is going to save time and the number of post-op sockets. It's going to preserve comfort, preserve that intimate fit if a patient is in between, say, their first socket and any replacement sockets. It's compatible with a variety of manufacturing methods. And there's a potential for a reduced number of appointments due to fitting issues. So those are those extra repair appointments and all those follow education appointments. With this system, the goal is that you actually save that time for billable appointments instead of filling it with those that are, are um, follow-ups. In terms of the patient population, it can be used from patients all the way from K1 to K4. So every single patient that you are seeing can utilize the overlay system successfully. It works with active and passive vacuum systems, with suspension sleeve methods, and distal fixation, i.e. like a lock and pin method. And there are no weight limits on the device itself. And then a friendly reminder, again, on your patient education, you're going to want to make sure that the leg of, their, of the patient stays straight when deflating and inflating the system. Deflation is much easier when the product is worn and inside the socket. Again, rem remember that air mattress method. All of the air cells should be located below the prosthetic trim line. And you're going to refer to any device instructions available on the EthnoCare website and with each product for more detailed information. Please reach out to the EthnoCare team if you'd like to receive more information or have any additional questions. I want to thank you for attending this presentation and learning more about the EthnoCare Overlay device. The references are included for you to review. In regards to the quiz, after completion of this course, a quiz will be emailed to you. Please complete this promptly to receive the full credits.